satisfying a performance was that? I am a happy coach right now. Yeah, it was uh, very satisfying. It was, you know, two years ago, it didn't turn out so well for the Bulldogs at their place. And so we had a chip on our shoulder going into this game that, you know, we needed to, we needed to play a lot better and represent um, the prime tradition of Bulldog football better than, um, than we did two years ago. And I thought it was a great team effort. I thought every phase of the game played really solid. Did you guys go into this game thinking that we can exploit the middle of the field against uh, their defense? Because you sure had a lot of big plays up the mi- uh, in the middle against well, them. Well, there was, you know, there's a couple things, you know, as coverages match up that felt like we could get the ball to certain people. You know, um, Mims coming out of the backfield, obviously, you know, had had some big plays, and uh, Marcus executed really well, and the offensive line protected well, and. Uh, you know, everybody did their job. You know, when we're throwing the ball out there to Mims on one of the screens, I think that went for the touchdown. You know, Jameer's making a great block on the edge on their linebacker, and so uh, really the execution of all plays is all eleven guys doing their job. Was there a certain turning turning point offensively? Because you, your first drive was very smooth and efficient. You went right down the field, but then after that, there was a couple of hiccups, and they scored, I think, a touchdown and two field goals. And then, boom, you know, the six straight touchdowns when your offense was really rolling. I mean, Marcus made one bad pass, I think, to the tight end that was open. He missed him. And then the two plays after that were perfect strikes, you know, one to Jordan for the touchdown and then the fade in the end zone. Was that like a turning point for him? Was there, was there something that clicked into gear? I don't gear? know about that. I, I know, you know, he knows that he missed him and he was open, you know. and But you have to let those things go. And that's a really good football team right there. And so you're not going to just steamroll them and score every time you have the ball. It was unfortunate we got beat on pass protection one time and the ball got knocked up in the air and, and they got it. You know, that was, but I think the defense held them to three right there. Um, but defense played really solid all night. That's an explosive crew. Um, they can run the football, they can throw it. Um, you know, but I, th- I think we held them in check pretty much. Uh, we pressured the passer, which is a big deal, and uh, we didn't let him get too loose too often, which really they've had a lot of success with. One time he got loose, um, which we had a blitz called, and, and a guy blew it and didn't come off the edge, which he found the soft edge, which he does. Uh, but um, that's a quality football team. They're a 11-1 team from last year, and they're very solid. You know, so um, you know you're going to have to stay in there and keep playing. You know, everything's not just going to roll smooth every possession, you know, and we knew that, you know, we knew they're a good football team and, you know, you just got to keep playing and, you know, a tribute to our guys that they didn't let it get away from them, you know, because momentum switched there a little bit and, but uh, kept playing, started making plays and, you know, and it continued through most of the game till the fourth quarter and then, you know, they got a couple late, you know, when some of our backups were in. Did you keep Marcus and some of the starting offense in there longer than, Maybe necessary because you wanted to work on the run game a little bit. No, uh, really, just because we know how explosive they are. You know, they they can make big plays in a hurry, and uh, so we wanted to make sure that we could, you know, not not make any mistakes and give them ball the ball deep or anything like that because of a um, botch ball handling or you know who knows what could happen. Um, but uh, that was really the only reason. We got some other guys in though. Some some other backs played and some other receivers played and some other tight ends played. In the two years that you've coached Marcus McMurray, would you say that tonight was really hands down his best passing performance you've seen? I don't know. I'd have to go back and think about his other ones. I kind of go week to week and and move on, you know, but I thought he was very efficient tonight, um, especially with some balls downfield. You know, I thought he hit Keyshawn on a seam that was a beautiful throw you know, right on stride. Um, but he managed the game really, really well, and he he was very accurate. You know, I think the only – he missed that one ball to Jared, but um, – or the, to the tight end, and then threw a ball a little bit behind Chris Coleman one time, but Chris made a great catch on third down. But besides that, I thought Marcus was spot on and played a really good game, really solid. Coach, uh, you have a very quality um, stable of uh, running backs, a lot of depth there. Um, 
each of them have their own variety, their own skill set. How does that versatility make you guys hard to defend tonight? Well, I, I think they do. They, they, each one of them have a, have a positive skill set. They all do things well. And so um, we're really fortunate to have the depth that we have there, and we try to keep them fresh and try to rotate them um, in and out. And, you know, but they're all very productive when they get in. And so, you know, there's only one football, and that's, it's really a challenge, to tell you the truth, you know, because you have so many guys there that can, that can make plays. You know, but I think they all understand to stay fresh, and they all play a role. And uh, you know, so uh, I thought each one of them did some things nice tonight. In looking ahead to Nevada next week, the Mountain West opener, would you say Nevada maybe offensively is kind of structured the same way Toledo is with the quarterback play, also the stable running backs as well? I haven't looked at Nevada yet, you know, so I don't know. I don't know. You know, I know they're explosive on offense. Uh, they do a really nice job. They're very well coached, and but I haven't looked at their personnel yet, and so I, I have no idea. Tomorrow we get into Nevada. We we're really focused just on Toledo. Coach, a big day for Michael Walker. He's been pretty effective all season long. Uh, how satisfying is it to see the process of him over this last year trying to figure out where to play him? He went between linebacker and defensive end and now seeing him producting on the field. Yeah, really happy for him. You know, he's he's got such a, a skill set that he's he's so flexible because he can really run and he's long. Um, but finally, you know, we, we toyed around with it a little bit in the spring to play him at Sam because he's so fast in space. But I think he gives tackles a really hard time, you know, because he's fast, he's long levered, he can extend, he's very quick. And, uh, you know, tonight he made an awesome play to bat that ball up in the air and catch it and run for a touchdown, you know. So really happy for him, you know, because last year was a hard year for him to redshirt and sit and play on the scout team all year. and. You know, it was we had to find a place for him to play on the field somewhere, and I think, I think we settled into the right spot where, you know, he's had a couple, he's had two back-to-back -back weeks at Minnesota and UCLA where he played against their best players. You know, big-time tackles are probably going to be NFL tackles, and he's done an admirable job, and so he's he's solid. He does a good job. He works really, really hard every single day, and so it's it's great to see him have success. Coach, uh, you alluded to it just a couple of minutes ago. A lot of times, big turning points in games don't get a lot of press. And to me, from what, watching that, that game today in the second uh, quarter, when there was that uh, turnover, that sort of fumble turnover, and how your team did not allow that to become points. And then the next time they got the ball, again, three and out. Um, and so if you could talk a little bit about that, because that takes a lot of discipline for a team to be able to perform that. Because so many times you see, all right, there's a turnover, we're giving up points, it becomes a different game. It seemed like from there, you guys scored, I believe, six touchdowns in a row. So if you can kind of talk about how that defensive stop leads to offensive good things. Yeah, you know, I, I just think our guys know just to keep playing. And I think, I mentioned this last week that I think we we're fortunate to be in a couple different type of games at Minnesota where we fell behind and we came back. Um, UCLA, we had the momentum. They scored to get back in the game and had the momentum, and then we responded. And so our, our group really does trust one another. And we don't, you know, we treat all setbacks as temporary. You know, we don't let things like that get us down. We know other teams are going to make plays. You know, and so you just have to keep playing. And um, we, we talk about that a lot. And uh, I think our guys, we practice against each other a lot where we have a lot of respect for one another. You know, our offense has enough success against our defense, our defense against our offense. And so we really compete hard in practice. And so we have a, every phase of our game, I think we have a lot of respect and a lot of trust in one another. And so if, if there's, you know, these other teams, are, they're good teams, you know, and they get scholarships too, and they're going to make plays from time to time. And, you know, we, we just got to keep playing and keep focused on one play at a time. We preach it all the time, one play at a time. And, uh, and so, you know, I think, I think over the last couple of weeks we've really, uh, we've really done that. And, 
you know, playing a, a team like this, you know, all of a sudden they go up and whatever it was, 13-7 maybe, something like that. And, um, and it looks like, okay, these guys are rolling. And then defense steps up and then offense, you know, is able to put some drives together, make some big plays. And, um, you know, field position, that field position, we won the field position battle. I don't know what the time of possession was, but I would imagine that we won that as well. I'm not sure, but it, it felt that way. Um, but uh, field position, I thought, was was pretty solid as well. Again, Blake punted him down inside the five yard line down there, and um, you know, so we, we kept everything pretty much in front of us. Didn't give up a lot of big plays, and that's really was the key against these guys because they're very explosive. If we can keep everything in front of us, and when they caught the ball, to tackle well, and th that's one thing that we work really hard on is our fundamentals. Uh, with tackling and our techniques and getting guys on the ground. And I thought we did a good job of that, not letting guys squirm out and make huge plays. Right, well, thank you, Coach. Okay, thank you.